Abu Dhabi is an ever-evolving destination in the surreal landscape of the United Arab Emirates. It has always been known as a cultural, progressive, and dynamic place. However, road transportation stands a sore thumb here. There are dark clouds over the horizon thanks to an increasing number of vehicles, growing freight needs, traffic jams, gas-guzzling heavy goods vehicles, and not enough public transportation. One big question has haunted the government over the years. Will our beautiful Abu Dhabi fall victim to its own rapid development? Without a doubt, this transport trial has been incredibly stressful. To tackle these issues and meet the growing demands, Etihad Rail, a $100 billion desert transport mega project, majestically appeared on the scene. Etihad Rail is an ambitious initiative and is set to revolutionize the transportation scene in Abu Dhabi, bridging the gap between the current transport infrastructure and the city's escalating mobility needs. Upon completion, the rail network will span approximately 1,200 kilometers throughout the UAE, seamlessly connecting the nation's major urban areas and industrial hubs and improving the flow of goods and people across the Emirates. But how does a country filled with expansive sand dunes build a 1,200-kilometer railway? And will this finally be the train network that connects all of the Middle East? The concept of the Etihad Railway Network was born in 2009, a time when the major transport infrastructure in the UAE was heavily road-dependent. In 2006, the UAE had a score of 190 deaths per million in traffic collisions linked to high speeds and a poor safety culture. Six people were killed, at least 40 were injured, and dozens of vehicles were burned on March 11, 2008, when hundreds of cars collided on a fog-shrouded Abu Dhabi-Dubai highway. The idea of a Pan-Emirates railway system in this scene was not just daring, it was revolutionary. The project would necessitate a harmonious mix of technology, infrastructure, logistics, and a thorough understanding of geography and demographics. It wasn't just about erecting tracks and running trains, it was about connecting communities, catalyzing trade, uplifting industries, promoting sustainability, and crafting a backbone for a future-ready nation. A rail project of this magnitude was unprecedented in the region. The visionary UAE leaders saw the challenge as an opportunity to pioneer a new era of transport in the Middle East. Established under Federal Law No. 2, the plan called for the construction of 593 crosses and bridges in addition to tunnels that were approximately 6.5 kilometers in length. At least 15 tunnels will be excavated through the Hajar Mountains, with a further 35 bridges designed for heavy cargo loads. This was an absolutely remarkable feat of engineering. Sustainable passenger and freight transportation across the urban and rural UAE is expected to change with this railway. The freight line has the capacity to transport up to 22,000 tons of sulfur daily, showcasing the efficiency of the network. Unlike average railways, Etihad Rail's freight trains are projected to reach speeds of up to 120 km per hour. On the other hand, the passenger trains will travel at speeds of up to 200 km per hour, linking 11 cities and areas. Each train will carry about 400 people. The luxury train will consist of 15 fully refurbished carriages, each offering a unique glimpse into Emirati culture and heritage. Along with food and drink, carriages will have Wi-Fi, entertainment systems, charging ports, and more. Various seating options, including first, business, and economy class, will also be available. Specialized manufacturers in Sicily and Puglia, Italy, will restore the train carriages to like-new condition, adding Italian craftsmanship and creativity to the process. Customers can anticipate a 50-minute journey time between Abu Dhabi and Dubai and around 100 minutes from Abu Dhabi to Fujairah, thus reducing commute times. More than 36 million individuals will be able to use the service each year by 2030 once it is ready. 
The railway, as the maps show, will link the principal centers of trade, industry, manufacturing, production, logistics, population, and all the major import and export points of the UAE, while forming an integral part of the GCC railway network. By connecting a country's trade centers, rail acts as a catalyst for economic growth. In the coming years, wagons running along the Etihad rail tracks will move anything from consumer goods to perishable food and beverages. Some of the typical products expected to move across the Emirates include hay, ceramics, polymers, sugar, metals, waste, and shipping containers. Coming back to the logistic benefits, a double-track design caters to mixed-use traffic and conforms to European signaling system standards. This state-of-the-art railway network employs heavy axle loads of 32.5 tons. Etihad Rail recently announced a triple expansion of its fleet of wagons, fueling the future of trade in the UAE. The contract to manufacture and supply 842 additional wagons will increase the total fleet to over 1,000, multiplying the transport capacity eightfold. This expansion is set to catalyze both domestic and international trade by supporting various types of cargo. It was envisioned to be completed in different stages, the first of which has been operating since 2015 and covers around 264 kilometers. Its primary purpose is to support freight transit. It is the goal of the second stage, which involves extending the network by approximately 605 kilometers to connect the cities and important ports, which will result in a stronger impact on the trading landscape of Arabia. But as told earlier, the benefits of the network extend far beyond transportation. The Etihad Railway Network highlights the UAE's pledge towards an eco-friendly future, committing to the goal of reducing carbon emissions. A fully loaded freight train can carry the equivalent cargo of 300 trucks, reducing carbon dioxide emissions by up to 80%. Once the network is fully operational, greenhouse gas emissions will decrease by more than 2.2 million metric tons per year. Now, let's dig deeper into the different phases, each contributing to this enormous, one-of-its-own-kind railway network across the UAE. The completion of Phase 1 occurred in the year 2013. This includes a 264-kilometer track that stretches from Shah and Habshan until it reaches the port of Ruwais on the Arabian Gulf. Its primary use is for freight services, specifically delivering granulated sulfur for Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. In Phase 2, complexity grows. The main goal is to expand the existing network from Ruwais to the UAE's border with Saudi Arabia at Guwefat and from there to the port of Fujairah on the UAE's east coast. This phase includes several key packages. Package A of Phase 2 covers the rail line from Ruwais to Guwefat. It runs for about 139 kilometers and includes 31 bridges and 8 underpasses, whereas Package B connects the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. It stretches for about 166 kilometers and comprises 11 bridges and 60 underpasses. Package C is dedicated to creating a 94-kilometer line from Al Ain to Abu Dhabi, and Package D addresses the need for a 145-kilometer stretch directly connecting Dubai and Abu Dhabi. The ultimate goal is to complete the UAE's connection with the rest of the Gulf nations, which will be met in Phase 3. By now, the whole of the UAE would be interconnected, with tracks reaching into the Northern Emirates like Ras Al Khaimah and Fujairah. Ras Al Khaimah is, by the way, turning into a key part of the UAE's growth story. It was once a quiet and distant place, but now it is about to get a fast-track link to all the big cities in the UAE, thanks to this mammoth project. This means more local jobs, a boost in business, and a jump in tourism. It's like turning a peaceful, quiet town into a lively city. Imagine the overall impacts of this project if a mere byproduct is like this. When it is projected to carry the equivalent of 36.5 million passengers and 50 million tons of goods each day, it transforms into something more than just a railway. Every inch of track, a ton of freight moved, and mile traveled reflects a country's desire for progress and unity. 
The Etihad Rail is single-handedly redefining boundaries. Thank you for watching, and please do like, share, and hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.